Hello guys, welcome back to Chill Sick Reviews. So today we're having a new member and that concludes uh, three of us in a group together. So today we're reviewing Lucky Strike Purples. Sorry. <clears throat> so just some brief history about Lucky Strike. It was as introduced as chewing tobacco in 1871 by this company called R.A. Patterson. And the reason why it's called Lucky Strike because there's this well-circulated myth that um, whenever you open up, open up a pack, you'll find that one cigarette inside actually contains marijuana therefore it being called lucky strike because it is that one cigarette that has like it's lucky lah yeah so to add on actually in the 1930s lucky strike was actually the top selling brand in america and it was popular among actually gold miners because it was relatively cheap okay and also it became synonymous with its uh tagline it's toasted yeah just want to add on about the tagline uh it was actually introduced in 1917 and most of the tobacco brands actually uh, sun-dry their tobacco whereas uh, for Lucky Strike it's toasted so um, therefore giving it a more delicious taste moving on to the pack design <clears throat> so actually if you see at the main logo here it says um, okay, I'm not sure you can see so it says R.E. Patterson Tobacco Company so this was the original tobacco company that was uh, that owned Lucky Strike la, before it was acquired by British American Tobacco Company, the group, yeah, which is a major conglomerate la, for tobacco in the world. Yeah. So looking behind, you can also see this. Uh, it's a large print. La. <clears throat> so a large print, large print says that uh, it's what inside that matters. So keep the flavor locked in with the true taste seal for the real taste of tobacco and menthol every time. Then click for a wild burst of flavor. <clears throat> Honestly, I think this is pretty awesome as it really um, was it complements their true taste seal. So let's keep it, let's keep the tobacco fresh. Okay, um, opening up, you can see that there's this uh, lock seal here. It says that it's hundred percent genuine quality as well as a true taste seal. And on top, it says that uh, from R. A. Patterson, which was the previous owner. Let's take one out. Moving on to the cigarette design, sorry. Moving on to the cigarette design, you can see that there's like this, this one um, power button here, which is their uh, purple capsule, as well as there's this one black line here. And right below the, the line, I don't know you can see, but it says uh, Lucky's, which is their signature. So just to add on, right, uh, the reason why it's black actually is because if you look at the box, it says um, wow. So it gives a wild flavor actually, that's the whole point of this uh, Lucky Strike Purple and quite unlike like in the previous video you saw LD Purple where the ball is actually purple right so this one is unique in a sense la. and because it's a power button it's actually quite uh, appealing la, you know, one of plants. Without further ado let's give it a wild wow taste So right to the first puff, I can taste this aromatic uh, grape flavor. Actually, it's quite unique because it actually kind of masks the chemical taste. And in terms of grape flavor, I'll give it like a strong about 8 out of 10. Being one of my favorite uh, purple cigarettes to go to. I would say that the purple flavor <clears throat> is also very strong. Definitely an 8 to 9 out of 10. Maybe 8.5 in between. And in terms of smoke density, actually it's medium to high but more on the medium side so it's a nice feel on the throat yeah. I wouldn't say that the smoke density is high in contrast to what it says um, actually I feel that it's more towards low to medium because like as you can see yeah it's actually not that not that uh, dense as well as for the kick wise I would say that it's about 7 out of 10 for metals so being one of my favorite uh, go-to uh, purple cigarettes, I would give it maybe about 7 for in terms of kick. And actually over LD purple, right, I will always choose uh, Lucky Strike purple. Yeah. So this is one of the Lucky Strikes that I always smoke because I don't really smoke Lucky Strike reds. But in comparison to like LM purple, <clears throat> uh, Lucky Strike is more costly. Yeah. At a local shell cost, it costs about Twelve fifty to thirteen, depending on where you buy. 
as compared to like um, cheaper discount brands such as LM, where you can get it for about eleven fifty to twelve. But definitely, I would say that um, Lucky Strike is more premium in tobacco as compared to cheaper discount brands. Yeah, definitely. I would definitely recommend uh, Lucky Strike Purple for anyone who wants like a very chill cigarette, you know, just to laze around, you know, with friends and smoke and drink. Yeah. <clears throat> I also like to add on that there's, there's this um, very slight bitter aftertaste to it also. But it's not so much that it's like hindering the full flavour lah. It's still Definitely, quite because a nice all rounded. Yeah, the purple, like the grape flavor, just overwhelms the chemical taste. So it's basically, yeah, just masks the chemical taste. So you can just feel the full grape flavor. And if you actually look at it, it does actually burn pretty fast. So maybe about six to seven puffs in already, you know. So overall, I'll give it maybe eight of ten. It does live up to its name, uh, being Lucky Strike. Yeah. I will give it, I'll also give it an 8 out of 10 because um, I'm a little bit biased towards Lucky Strike especially Rush because it's my favourite menthol cigarette one of my favourites <clears throat> so uh, I think that concludes our video guys please remember to leave a like and comment in the comment section below um, maybe in the future you want us to review more menthol cigarettes and everything we will do it <clears throat> also subscribe as keeps us motivated and that concludes it, smoke on